morning, everybody, and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Denise Cox, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Trail, British Columbia. And today it is Tutorial Tuesday here on Bird's Nest Designs. So I um, have a really fun technique to share with you guys today. I'm so excited about this. Um, prepared to get a little bit messy because this has a potential to be a little messy, but it is super, super fun. Um, and I have my In Color Club ladies last night. We had a class here at my house um, last night. And thanks to them, I got this really great idea for my card to share with you today. So stay tuned. This is going to be really fun. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that Wednesday, which is tomorrow. So today is June 20th. Tomorrow, June 21st, Stamping Up is offering free shipping on orders over $100 here in Canada. So if you have a wish list or you need to restock on your favorites or the things that you use the most, like adhesive and envelopes and cardstock and all the things, um, tomorrow is a perfect time. Free shipping doesn't come up very often. So when it does, it's a great time to um, take advantage of that. So you can go to createwithbirdsnest.ca slash shop to view my online store. And let me just pop up the host code there as well. So that is my current host code. Oh, I'm pointing the wrong way. <laughs> There's my current host code. Please use that on your orders um, if they're less than $200. And then you'll re receive my customer loyalty tokens. Um, that program is going until the end of July. And then we'll be shaking it up and changing things up starting August 1st. But now is the time to get those cards filled and place those orders before July 31st. So if your order is over $200 here in Canada, please don't add the host code because then you get those host rewards all to yourself. Okay. Um, so you'll get free product on top of your free shipping order. Um, all right, so that is that. Let me hide that banner again. Now, today, let me just tell you guys this one more time. Today is the last chance you have to register for the Zany Zoo Stamp Camp, okay? You guys don't wanna miss this, it ends today and you don't wanna miss because you'll be sad, okay? So make sure to get your registration in for that. Now, let me see if I can get my mouse back here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, my computer is doing really crazy things this morning. I don't know. I hope this video is going to go off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. I hope you're excited to see today's stamping technique. Um, okay, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So let's get to stamping. I'm going to switch down to my desk view here. All right. So as you pop on, say hello. Let me know you're here. Um, I'm leave me a comment because like I said, I'd love to know who I'm stamping with this morning. So we are going to carry on using the gorgeous carousel horses. I think these are super fun, especially with summer coming up and carnivals and all the things. Um, these just seem really fun. So yesterday we shared, we created this card together um, using the weekly challenge color combination. So this is what yesterday's card looked like and today we're gonna make something completely different with a fun technique. So we're going to use the carousel horses. I've got a pile of, of <laughs> products we're gonna use today. Good morning, Tina, welcome. We're gonna use um, some of the dies from the carousel horses bundle. We're going to be using the rays of light background stamp. You guys, if you don't have this, it is a must have. Love this background stamp. Um, I'm gonna put these over there so you don't have the reflection of my light there. Then we are going to use, I just got this set yesterday. It just arrived in the mail and something's going on on my screen. There we go. Um, I just got the set and we're actually going to use the dies today and the coordinating paper. So I have that paper here, a little six by six sample of it. This paper does come in 12 by 12, but I've just cut down six by six samples. So I have it here um, to make it easier to share with you. Remember the designer series paper is on sale right now too. So if you order tomorrow, not only do you save 15% on your paper, but you'll also get that 10% shipping or 11% shipping discount. So it's a great time to stock up on your DSP. All right, so like I said, we're gonna use the Reach for the Stars dies. And then we've got some really, really fun colors. So we're gonna use Berry Burst, Tahitian Tide and Lemon Lime Twist. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that combination together. Okay, so we are going to need for this technique, and let me share this paper with you first. 
because you guys, it, it doesn't do it justice in the catalog. So this is stargazing. The number, if you can't read that, is 161175. Okay, so 161175 is a stargazing designer paper. Let me just flip through this real quick so you guys can see the brilliance of these bright, fun colors. Oh my goodness, look. I just love it. Okay. Oh. Okay, and we've got some fun, fun, fun colors. This is the piece we're going to use today. And then... There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just loving it. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are on that beautiful paper. Okay, so I'll set that off to the side. Now, to do this technique today, we are actually going to need, for sure, a silicone sheet. But we're probably, we are going to use two today, okay? Um, to do this at home, you probably will only need one and then just some sort of little plastic tray. But this is what I'm going to use today. So we're going to do what's called the baby wipe technique. Now, I did this years ago in a technique club but last night when I was here with my in color club members one of them brought up the fact that I can't remember how but somehow it came up about this stamping technique and so we did an impromptu demonstration which triggered me to think after they left oh, I know what I want to do for my tutorial Tuesday so here we are we're going to do a baby wipe technique so I've got a stack of baby wipes here I don't know how many there are maybe three and I'm going to just put those on top. Now, like I said, if you have an empty stamp case or a plastic lid, plastic container that this could go in, that would be ideal as well. But I'm just going to use my silicone mat to keep it nice and simple. Then you'll need some re-inkers. Okay. So I'm using Lemon Lime Twist, Tahitian Tide, and Berry Burst. And then we get to just have some fun. Okay. So we're going to just start kind of like a science experiment. Um, we're just going to start dripping these on now. You guys watching live or as you're catching the replay, have you done this technique before? Have you seen it? Is this brand new to you? Let me know. So we're just dripping some of these refills onto our baby wipe and watching that beautiful ink just spread all around. Okay. Some over here. Okay, and then we're going to switch to Lemon Lime Twist. Brand new. Okay, Tina, you're going to love it. Just keep watching. This is really fun. Okay. So some pink, or some, we're not in pink, we're, we're on green right now. Okay. So, oh, there we have our baby wipe all inked up. Okay, it looks like a little bit of a hot mess. Oh, I did not mean to do that. We don't want to have ink leaking through our, that'll make a mess later as we're stamping our card. I'm going to wipe that up. All right. So this is all inky and lovely. Now I'm going to use something. So we can just, this has nothing to do with our card, what I'm going to do right now. But I just want to show you kind of what this potential this has to do. So I didn't bring in an extra piece of paper, but that's okay. I will just use my grid paper here. I will show you. So I've got just one of the carousel stamps here. And I'm going to just stamp it onto my baby wipe and then stamp it over here and look what happens. Can you see that? Isn't that fun? So then you can just stamp it again and stamp it. And each time it's going to be slightly different because you've got this rainbow effect on your um, baby wipe. Okay. So you just can kind of keep stamping it however you want. Now, what I'm doing right now for today's card. I don't want this to be so segregated in color. So I am just going to take this stamp and just sort of muck it about. Okay, I'm just kind of pushing those colors onto one another. I don't know if you guys can see that in this ink pad, but it's just getting all mucky. It's just fun. Like I said, it's kind of like a science experiment, right? So we're just inking this all up. And if I was to stamp it again, now we're going to have a little bit different colors. So you can do this with any array of colors. It gives you a really neat effect. But what we're going to do today, I'm going to set that over there. And then I'm going to bring in my Rays of Light stamp set. So how I'm going to use this today is I'm just going to open it up and leave it right in the case. Okay. So let's put a stamp over here to kind of weigh that side down. Then I'm going to take my baby wipe like this, and I'm just going to kind of... You know what, I was going to try and do it with silicone and keep my hands clean, but 
we're going to forget that. This is just going to be fun. We're going to just dab it all over this background stamp. Okay, it's only ink. It'll come off my hands. Okay, so again, I'm mixing all these colors together, making this beautiful inky stamp. Okay, and then I am going to wipe my hands because that will be everywhere. So make sure you have some clean baby wipes beside you too if you're going to copy what I'm doing here. All right, so then I've got a piece of basic white cardstock. Let me just make sure my hands are nice and dry. So I've just got a piece of basic white cardstock here and I'm gonna lay that on top of my background stamp carefully. And then I'm just gonna rub that on there. Okay, so this is just to give pressure. If you have a brayer, if you have one of those tools um, in your stash, this would be a great time to pull it out and use the brayer across the back of this. Now watch what happens when we pull this off. Oh, isn't that cool? Are you guys aw ooing and awing over there? I know I was when I did that last night. I'm like, oh my gosh, it turned out better than I had even hoped. So that is a really cool thing. Now don't worry about this mucked up piece because we're going to fix that all up. I'm just going to use my baby wipe and just clean this stamp off quickly. And there we go. Nice and clean. Close that up. Okay. <laughs> I know it's so cool, isn't it, Tina? I love it. Okay, so we're not done with this yet. This mess over here, it looks a mess, but we're going to still use that. There's still some um, things we want to do. So there is our background. So let's start assembling this to create a beautiful card. I'm going to take some berry burst cardstock. This is just a quarter inch larger than my white paper. So the white paper was three and three quarters by five, and the berry burst is four by five and a quarter. I'm going to take my adhesive. It's over here, and I'm going to apply this onto it. Okay. So that can go on here. All right. So when we take back this, now I want something to cover my little circle mess there. <laughs> so I what I decided last night is I took this piece of paper here, and the reach for the stars dies. You guys, I was so sad when they retired the layered circles dies. But then I saw in the catalog the other day that there's all these circles. So this is actually why um, this is actually why I've ordered this was for the stars, but are for the circles. But I actually really love the stamp set, so I'm excited. Um, anyway, these circles. If I can show you, they line up. Now, remember, this is usually a 12 by 12 piece that I've just cut down. So this would be a full circle, but it would cut out that. This one would cut out this one over here. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. They're all cut out these circles. Okay, so all of these circles match these circles. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? So what I did ahead of time, just so I didn't have to do die cutting in today's video, is I did go ahead and cut one of those out of the paper. So here it is right here. Okay, so let me set those aside. So we're going to take this circle and we're going to apply it with some adhesive right over top of this. Now, when I created this card last night, all I could think was I'm so excited to send this to somebody. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so we've got our circle attached there. Then we're going to do some stamping. So this is why I have a second silicone mat because I don't want to have this messy one. I still need that. So I've got another silicone mat here. If you guys don't have one or two in your collection, I do suggest that you add one because they are super, super handy um, too. So we've got this. Now remember yesterday, if you watched along yesterday, you saw that I just pre-cut my carousel horses. So I did the same thing today, pre-cut them, and I'm going to stamp after they're cut. So today we're going to use this larger stamp. Now the images on the case are not the actual size because as you can see, this is the horse we're using and look at the size, okay? So don't be fooled by that. All right, so we've got this. Now I do did remember to bring my Memento ink pad in today. So we're gonna ink up this horse. And we're going to carefully stamp him right on top 
of this die cut image. Now this makes crafting, you know, if you want to do multiples and you can pre-cut them without having to worry about lining them up and then just stamp on top, this makes a huge time saver. Okay. So there you can see our adorable horse. Now we're going to do the same. So I've cut the banner. Let me show you guys. This is a carousel horses um, die. So this banner here, this is the horse we used. Here's the banner and this is the pole. So I've pre-cut the banner out of lemon lime twist cardstock. Okay, we're gonna stamp this image on top of it as well. It's not laying very straight, so it might not play nice. We'll stamp that off there. Okay, perfect. And then I have the pole. Now this one, I don't know. This one's a little tricky because it's such a narrow image, but we're going to give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. So I'm inking this one up in Meta Memento ink as well. And I think as long as we can line up that top and then the bottom, I think we should be good. Ha, huh, perfect. Okay, so there we have our images stamped. And then I do want to make this like a celebration card because these fun, funky colors just scream celebration. So let's go ahead and take Let's Celebrate. This is also from the Carousel Horses stamp. And we're just going to stamp this right on the banner. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we're just going to do a wee bit of coloring. So I'm going to take my Lemon Lime Twist. And I've got the dark and I'm gonna actually use the bullet end because I find the shade of that is slightly darker. So I'm just gonna color alternatingly these pole lines on here, kind of like a barber's pole. Instead of red and white, we're gonna just do green on green, um, dark and light. But this is gonna look really fun. We're tying in the same colors that we use to create that amazing background using the baby wipes. Um, we're using this to color. Ooh. Okay, so if you guys are watching along and you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, channel, if that's where you're watching, please do show me your thoughts by sending those hearts and thumbs up. I love to see them and I love reading your comments. So please comment away. It makes me feel like I'm not stamping alone here. So thank you, Tina and Kathy, for being here watching. And for those of you who are watching but just haven't said hello yet, um, here we are coloring. So I've switched now to my light lemon lime twist. And I'm just coloring in the alternate lines on the pole. Okay. So I don't know how well you guys can see that in the video, but it is two-toned light and dark. Okay. So that's going to go over here. And then we're going to take the horse. Now here's where we're not done with this magic ink pad over here. I'm going to pull this back in, even though it looks amok. And here I've got the mane and the tail. Remember I showed you yesterday? If you were here watching, if not, I'll show you again. So this stamp set has this horse. And then here's the mane and the tail that go together for that one. <laughs> Hi, Susan from Wisconsin. Welcome. Um, this hair and mane tail and mane go with this guy and same with that one so they all have coordinating stamps so here this is now we have the luxury to be able to look and see where the main colors are so we can decide what colors we want on our horse and mane here so I want a little bit of all the colors so I'm going to stamp it right here okay and then I'm going to bring that over and stamp it line it up there and there carefully Ta-da! Isn't that cute? So there we go. We have like a rainbow um, male and a rainbow tail on this adorable horse. So now I am done with this. So I'm going to move it before I end up with it all over my arm. Okay, let's color in the saddle and the little bits on our horse here. So I'm going to use Berry Burst. And I'm going to just color in that part. And this part here. This part up here as well, maybe. Okay. And then I'll color, I'll shade that in 
A space pony. Yes, Kathy, isn't that awesome? A space pony. Welcome, Kim. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we're going to color in this part here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Space pony. That is so awesome. Okay. <laughs> So now we're gonna switch to some Tahitian Tide and add some of that in here. Again, we're tying all these colors that we used in our, our funky ink pad to um, pull this all together. And we'll get the saddle. And we'll color that one in with the light. Okay, so there we have it. There is our sweet little pony. Of course, you could go really crazy and you could color in the, the horse and everything, but I like it white because it just pulls those colors and really makes them pop. So now let's assemble the card. Actually, let's go ahead. Now see what I did here? I cut out extra pieces just in case my stamping didn't work, but thankfully it did. So now we'll just fold this card base. This is thick, basic white. Um, four and a quarter by 11 that I scored at five and a half to make a fun tent fold card. Okay, so this is a tent fold. We're going to now attach this to the front. Okay, so nice and even borders. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to take my pole that we colored. I'm going to put that over here, kind of in the middle of our circle, like that, okay? And then what I'm going to do, now I don't want to fuss with glue on there. That's me. You guys could totally take some Tombow glue, some white liquid glue, and put it on the back and, and have that all done. But I am going to skip that point part, and I'm going to use dimensionals to hold it in place. So I already have a design in mind, so I'm going to go ahead and put one dimensional right there. And I'm gonna flip that over and put a dimensional on each end of this banner. Okay. If you guys are watching and you love this video, I'd really love it if you shared it, left me a comment. Um, it helps other people to find and stamp along with us too. So there we go. So we're gonna put that banner, is that cute? Ah, I just love this card, you guys. Um, okay, so now we're going to add the horse. So same thing, I'm going to put a dimensional over top of my pole, which is going to hold it in place. Flip over this horse. And we might need one more. Put one more down here on these feet here. Okay, so we'll put this up here like that. What do you guys think? Hi, so cute, so cute, I love it. So bright and fun and like completely different um, than if you would have just stamped that by itself. So now we're gonna take some um, embellishments and these are the glossy dots assortments, okay? So another great thing that you may wanna add to your free shipping order on Wednesday are embellishments because if you're like me, you go through a lot of them. Um, everything needs bling. So I like the blue with this, the pink. Oh, do I like the pink today? Let me see. I think I'm going to go with the blue to kind of tie it in with the circle that we put there. So I'm just going to add three of these randomly to our card. There we go. That is our fun baby wipe technique. So let me bring that in. If you missed the beginning, okay, here is our gunky baby wipe um, ink pad that we made just by using the ink refills. And we dropped them all on there and we kind of smudged them together with another stamp, um, created these just to kind of show you what else you could do with it. And then we created this fun card. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so I wanna show you the card I made last night doing exactly the same thing. And it does look a little bit different because of course my ink pad ended up a bit different on my baby wipe. So you can see that. This is the one I made last night. This is the one we made tonight, today. So a little bit more of the pink shows up in here. This one's got a bit more of the green, but it's not amazing what can happen. So you could do multiples and each one would be very, very different. Okay, 
I hope that you guys are feeling inspired by this card and want to give this technique a try. Let me pop back on here. The video. Hello. Oh my goodness. This was so fun. Okay. <laughs> I love stamping and I love learning these new techniques and sharing them with you. Um, simple, simple products to make this. You just need some baby wipes, which you can pick up anywhere. I got mine at the dollar store. And then you just need the ink refills of your choice, whatever colors you want to do. Um, something plastic or silicone underneath so that it doesn't go right through. And then you've got this fun technique at your fingertips. So um, I'd love to see what you do with this. I hope that you, um, oh, I'm just reading comments, sorry. Uh, so these baby wipes that I've used, Tina, are just, like I said, they're just from the dollar store. I don't think it matters. Um, I don't even think, these ones say aloe and they work just fine. So I don't think it matters at all. Just any type of baby wipe would work. Um, okay, so I hope that you guys are inspired to give this a try. If it's new to you, that's awesome. If it's maybe something you've done years ago, like it was for me that you kind of forgot about, great. Let's bring it back and let's try it again um, and have a lot of fun stamping with this fun technique. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget that Wednesday is free shipping. So here in Canada, your order is free if it's over $100. If you do live locally to me and your order's not quite 100, that's okay. Message me and I'll do a group order so that we all get free shipping that day. Okay, it just means that you'll have to pick it up here at my house. All right, so um, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget, you have one more chance, okay? One more chance to register for the Zany Zoo Stamp Camp. Today it ends. Um, and then after today, you'll have missed out and you'll be sad because it's great. It's a really fun class. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you back here Friday morning at 10 o'clock Pacific time for a fun full using these gorgeous carousel horses bounce. So until then, have a wonderful week. Cheers, everyone.